so you don't expect something like that. So it's all about trying to catch him off guard, and that's exactly what happens. Rax goes aggressive with the frenzy. He's able to get one as fire ensues on the entrance of the A site. Pancakes oh, swing just around the corner. He's got that bulldog as well, and that bad boy bites. Spike planted. The door will fall. Shock darts timed identically as dazed. Takes out the ponytail underneath Mina's feet down to the 4v2 Equinox in a very short position. It all was off the back of Braxis Heroics and Nuisance. And unfortunately, Painkakes is going to feel the nuisance of ACK. It's all down to DXN. T1 find themselves the round of victory. I can't recall if they. Blade Storm may be the saving grace that they need, and as you go in, that's two players caught unaware. Unfortunately, Mina cannot convert onto that second and D1. Just pinching Equinox from all sides. I'm a little bit afraid of what's to come in the. They're really comfortable on the side. There's a point man that has gone uncontested. It's Brax playing close in the workshop, and Pancakes knows that there's somebody on the opposite side, and I don't think Brax knows where he is. Brax has already been a problem, taking down two members, bringing it down to just two, the 4v2 Pancakes, in a position that I don't think T1 are aware of, and as a result, he's going to dispatch one. Paranoia comes through, trying to find more success. Now looking at Mina's perspective, it's all down to Mina. 46 HP, Recon Bolt not going to spot him out, so they know he's playing backside. They're going to smoke him off. Smoke him off. Shock Darts trying to play the corners. Spider pushes forward. 3k on the round. T1 finds success. And now looks like he's going to be bringing in just a classic, but he's going to have the blades from as well. That, that always spicy uh, ultimate. Yep. One there it is. Yeah, once again, Pancakes is down. A top performer for Equinox. And of course, this is. An important round for Equinox. Guns in hand. Looking to carry those into the next. And T1 already able to take out a member with Bladestorm still in hand here for Skadoodle. Got three knives left. And Equinox. Three members strong towards the A main side with a member Q Fatboy pushing up the catwalk. T1 are just very happy to play angles here. Let Equinox push into them. Well, and remember, we saw this up against Complexity, right? Like, they're so comfortable with just sitting back and waiting. And now we're seeing a lot of that. It forces teams to play aggressively. Complexity had no problem with it, but Equinox hasn't had as much success. You hear the Rolling Thunder has been used to pave the way. Cute fat boy with the sucker punch. Onto Skadoodle's going to get that kill. The spike is actually going to rotate away. Seconds left. It was a bunch of ruckus, riffraff, that was caused over on A, but the spike is making its way over to B. I know that some in chat may be like, well, duh, of course T1 are going to stay back. It's the defense. They're going to wait for the attack to push in. I get that. I totally understand that. But sometimes you'll see some aggressive peaks, maybe, you know, a fight for the orb. Something a little bit more aggressive. And while T1 has been doing that consistently towards the A main side, other than that, they leave mid wide open. Wide open for the attack oh. if they want to push that way. Oh, that oh, was nice. This B main side, which is what they're doing now, which is the leading charge here for Mina. Skadoodle will take him down. AZK will help as well. As one yeah. after the other, they'll fall apart. Pancakes will stop the bleeding, but for how long? It's a 4v2 with the spike still not on the ground. Yeah, and I think the important thing, too, is that he got away with his life. It wasn't just getting that opening pick. It was dashing away, around from the danger, away from the damage. Skadoodle keeps that up and stays healthy. Pancakes, the last one alive in a 1v4 situation. Trying to rotate, maybe try to hold a tight angle. There's still plenty of time in this round, and Simo, if there's anybody on the side of Equinox who could pull off something like this, it would be Pancakes. It would be. <laughs> it's not feeling that they can take this one and move on. Yeah, you saw members of T1 begin to rotate over a little bit early as Equinox funnels onto the site. They've made it onto there, but Mina's being flashed up and can't see a dang thing. That's two in a row now as members of T1 have arrived. The cavalry is here. The reinforcements oh, are there, and no. Brax does it again. He's able to get two pancakes traded out. However, as the fight for site continues, T1 has the numbers advantage. Equinox does not have the spike down. Heck, it's not even in a playable spot right now. Now it's going to go down. T1 is going to have to fight for the retake. Yeah, and I think they're happy with that. There's 
something really wrong when Days just continues to spray every single penetrable surface on the site, making it very difficult for Equinox to hide anywhere. No one's going to go in towards hell, but I guess once Days finally spout, it might be an opportunity. But as the shot's missed by Skadoodle, Days K that'll take him down. Whoa, what a transfer there from Pancake. Still using the smoke to survive, but the power of the spray is too strong. You spray and you pray and... He's just pulling back further and further and further. And T1 are like, yeah, we're happy with that. Skadoodle no playing way. up above. Shot's going to be good. Tailwind to safety. No Skadoodle. Way. Are you kidding me? Spike planted. Spike planted. 5v4. T1 up above. Now they're going to bring the rain. It's still 5v4. Skadoodle. Nowhere to run. Just over the edge. You see the Hunter Fury is going to push things away and Skadoodle's pinging. He knows exactly where he is. Skadoodle's going to get tagged up by the final Hunter Fury shot as the Rolling Thunder tries to wreak havoc onto the side as T1 pull knocks apart. My gosh, it's all the time. They do it again and again. They're so freaking good on this map. Immediately. Because I remember against, against Complexity, they really left that, that middle wide open. But this time we're seeing a little bit of a different look. AZK and Skadoodle when on that B site working in tandem, we're seeing that live. This is down to a 5 e 2 I was about to say 3. No, I didn't. Now I say 1, as there's one player remaining. And jeez. You leave it up to Chef Ramsey Skadoodle. Invested plenty. And now T1 is actually going to be sticking right back to him as they go that way. Pancake screeds him with a freaking shotgun shell to the face. And it looks like he's looking for more. Days gets tagged up a little bit and has to back off and wait. The thing is, T1 and the rest of it, the rest of the team have already made Ten it on the site. Left. The spike is going to go down as Skadoodle is there. But keep a close eye on Days, folks. He can cause serious problems if he continues to establish that area of the map. Yeah, all he needs to do is hold down that angle. Equinox are going to fight their way through both sides. A couple through heaven. Actually, none through the tree room. So Days' position is actually not going to be affected a lot as... Equinox are very comfortable just getting involved. So far, it's not been going the way they've turned down. Yeah, Remember, they right. traded out, but they still need to drop down. Yeah, HDK is not baby. letting them drop yeah, down. Three of the rounds no down to the 1v1, but it's a 1v none. As <sighs> Dazed will take, you know, seemingly T1's map pick. I'd imagine they would have picked Ascent first, but Equinox were hoping they'd be on max comfort. Moving into this one, it's it's really been all the T1 show. Skadoodle and Brax, Skadoodle and Brax. Sometimes ADK, sometimes Spider. Really just a well-oiled machine that Equinox, their car won't start. Needs to jump the cables. You just start that car battery back up. But for T1, yeah, they've woken up. You can see it here. <laughs> and uh, Equinox is feeling the wrath of the loss to complexity. You mentioned poking the bear earlier, and that really does feel like an appropriate way to describe things. Let's see if T1 can get onto the site and get the spike down and put Equinox away left. on their map. The Rolling Thunder lets Skadoodle in, and Skadoodle takes out D Cop, one of the first members of defense. Equinox just sounded a few members left. T1 looking to put the finishing touches on a Mona Lisa performance one on Ascent. Equinox just down to one for a moment off the jet and on the race. We saw that against Complexity, but I, I'd imagine that while the race better for Bind, maybe not the best position to be in, uh, or you don't, it's not easy to put yourself in some of the best positions. We're now looking at the engagement on this A site. It boils down to a 3v2. Equinox have made it competitive, taking the guns out of T1's hands and putting it into theirs. The spike still needs to be planted and T1 are just around the corner. Yeah, already an expensive situation, an expensive round for T1, even if they emerge victorious. They know where both members of Equinox are, and DXN getting a huge kill onto Skadoodle and then telling out they're going to take the matter over to B in a 2v2. T1 has to rotate over, but the thing is, once spike they planted. get there, the spike is already down. Equinox is already going to be in their post planes. I think this is a little bit of an early owl drone, maybe just trying to see if there's anyone that's made it over already, but nobody, I believe you would have heard the audio cue for the portal, so you know that they're coming from the defender spawn, unless they're coming from the hookah side, which is possible, but a little bit more unlikely considering the defense is comfortable to come from where they know, and they know that the defender spawn is, is clear because obviously they went and planted the spike. Now as the spike is sticking though, T1 have the difficult task of fighting for the site. Look at that. A phantom in the hand of ACK. They do not want this to fall into the hands of Equinox. Now that the fight starts to occur, 
They need to make sure that they defuse the spike. It's ticking and it's ticking fast. That's gonna be one kill. It's down to Dixon. They can't fight for the spike and it's DXN that'll fall days to rotate because he's comfortable. As honestly, T1 are very comfortable across the board with retaking the site. And now they have days with a good early pick. We'll see how long he survives, but that's a great start. It's now a 5v4 retake and he's still alive in the elbow. Certainly a great start left. indeed. He was able not only to get the kill, but buy enough time for his teammate to rotate oh, over. Now T1, as we have grown to expect, are going to be fighting for the retake. Gaze gets another one as he continues to light up the kill feed. Furthermore, the Rolling Thunder pushes off members onto the site. A 5v3. Spider looks like he might be able to just get the defuse by himself. There are two members of you can out to over by Octagon. And who has not managed to work their way onto the site. There's the Hunter Fury, a, a very expensive uh, investment as there's just one left on the side of Equinox. Oh, he made it just to stop the defuse. The top gets four. It's going to drop things down to a 1v1 as he has 14 health. Trying to swing the corner, just six bullets to work with, and dazed with the 4K, is able to take care of him. The spike got down to half. He's going to be able to defuse it as well. What a round! For the sake of running at him, now the ult orb is going to come through. Actually, I lied. It was the exact same play. They're going to get the ult orb into the hands of Breach, and that's going to give them the roll of thunder in conjunction with the Hunter's Fury and the Bladestorm. Equinox are investing everything into this round. But oh my gosh, the snap from AZK stops the push, not able to continue with this level. As the neural theft gives away everything, a 2v2 for the site. And the spike carrier is. Oh, I thought the spike carrier was down, but once again, it's down to a 1v1. DXN has got a race over towards this B site, but guess what's over there? Tripwires that seem to have allowed him to just sneak on by. Like James Bond, those red lasers aren't going to affect him, but the recon bolt will. And now as Daze is looking critical that Skadoodle plays on that A site quite consistently. And now that we're seeing him paired up here with Daze on the B site, it's an adaptation. And you're finding a little bit more success, a little bit of a different look. There is a trade. Unfortunately, Daze not there to support Skadoodle and Hookah because he's got to have, you know, he's got to do his homework. He's got to make sure that B long is clear because that's that's been normally his job. If the last time he gave that up, they had so much more control. And honestly, I think if Equinox hit the B site last round, they would have found so much more success because they had already set things up. If they had just smoked off the entrance from the hookah back into the B site, they would have been in such a good position. Uh, unfortunately, they went towards that shower side and then got torn apart. But um, yeah. And um, that's the unfortunate thing. When you see a team that likes to play around tellies, you see that more often than not. Like that's part of what you sign uh -oh. up for when you choose to play that way, Spider. With the paranoia down the hallway, Brax is going to be the first one. There's not going to be any more carnage yet, but the neural theft has been used to gain more information. They're going to know that the hit is a hit onto A. They're also, Brax is going to be tight 30 seconds uh, on that teleporter, so there's not going to be a ton of room to work. Pancakes. swings through and is able to get two of them, but there you go. Again, they're telling out, but this time T1's waiting for it. Stays around the corner. He's able to get one looking for to a side at this one. Yeah, it looks like it's exactly what they're going to do. The spike is going to go down at the hands of DD Cop, and now T1 can comfortably rotate over. AZK is able to get an opening kill with the utility, and the ult is going to be used as well. Skadoodle using the showstopper to try to get some info, but no, it's actually AZK with the Phantom that's able to get three as the Hunter Fury's traded right back out. Equinox just down to two. The spike is ticking. Skadoodle in a position to try to bait out the player from Cubby. Brax is going to take one out now. It's down to one final player. It's Pancakes. T1. Crystal clear round from them. Later, going to get into a position to try to flank them. They are starting to come through. They don't have knives out, so this is at least going to bode well for him. But now as they start to come through, finds one. Can he find a second? He can't give it to him. Now the 3v3. They want this ace, but things are a little chaotic on the round at hand. Chaotic. Probably the biggest understatement of the day. Also worth noting, Spider, I, I didn't want to draw a ton of attention to his. Those were his first two kills of the map. Timo, <laughs> he was 0-10 up until that point. He was 0-10 and 8, so he was dealing a good bit of damage, but he had not gotten on the board. For him to get those two picks on that rotation was absolutely left. huge. Furthermore, what that does is that forces Equinox to rotate back. T1, knowing that there isn't a ton of time left, have started to rotate over to B as well. They've left one over on A, but the gig's up, folks. They know exactly where the spike's going down. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Good positioning there from days and now as they start to come out of the woodwork. He's going to find a second. It's all down to one final player, and he is going to teleport to safety. No more. Tough stuff.
here for Equinox. Pancakes from the push in from the showers. We're about to find out. Mina gets up both and personal with AZK, takes out the back line, and now it's going to be Spider that falls as well. Down to Brax. And just like that, he will fall to the slice and the dice. Down to two final Spike players. Planted. Skadoodle alongside Daze in a 2v4. Spike planted. Equinox on the precipice of a 6 6 finish in the half. Yeah, Mina's not playing this aggressively. They had pipe like. Uh... Mina, in you haul. Despite continuing to tick down, Equinox has the numbers advantage as Days slowly starts to creep forward. That's going to push him back. Yeah, that's going to get wow. the kill. That's going to allow the rest of T1 to work their way through. And Days is going to be the first one there. He's going to spot a player, deal some damage, but gets taken out. One left on the side of T1, and it's Skadoodle. In a 1v3 situation, he's going to tab, going to get flashed up, going to invest in at least enough to make Equinox think about it. It's exactly what Equinox was doing to them, but this time it seems to be far more committal as they get all the way in. Brax left. gets taken out by the utility. You hear Rolling Thunder has been traded back as well as members of T1 continue to drop. It's going to be 3v4 Spike in favor planted. of Equinox. DXN rotating his way around, but it's cute Fapple who's remain. able to take care of Skadoodle. Members of T1 are being decimated. One left alive and, well, Spider continues to struggle. It was a 1v3, so I'll, I'll cut him some slack there, but Equinox are going to take the lead after that round. Really? Is and the camera from Cypher to try to keep them at bay. Spider goes in, gets wow. punished again, but the trade from Skadoodle thinks things up at four. Spike planted. Spikes down, which means now Equinox have to play the retake. So far, it's not looking so bad. Know, exactly. They can't take care of the players in lamps, but Skadoodle's got other plans in store. That's the paint shells that are dropped. One it's likely going to do a little bit of damage, and it's down to Skadoodle. Oh, but they have no idea that was perfect. Well played from Skadoodle, and he's got the HP advantage. The camera's not going to spot him out. It's all down to Q Fatboy, and Skadoodle has played this masterfully. Down to the 1v1. Clutch from Skadoodle. Yeah, that's DXN giving away his position. Now as he starts to drop down, he's got to worry. Yep, yep. they were, they were going to be looking down. Well played there. And a paranoid Q Fatboy means that oh, they'll at least oh. get the spike down. And that's going to be important to note. Now it's the 3v4. Spike needs to get planted if they want to go. Run like you said, it's game. going to be the frag there from the elbow side. And T1 can't even get the spike down. Well played there for Equinox on the retake. Their eyes. Brax is going to play contact from the shower side. While the rest of T1 are going to sit pretty in the lights, in the lamps. Smokes are down, and now the retake here comes for Equinox with the red carpet rolled out. Oh, man, the U-Haul area gets messed up, and they trade it right back. Literally, like, right at each other, and it's oh, days gross. with the Hunter's Fury that's able to get two. As it looks like Mina tries to swing it aggressively and try to establish some semblance of control, but AZK greets him. Equinox down to one member left, and it's DXN. The problem is he's sandwiched, and he gets taken out. Dating. What the play's going to be in that they're actually pretty committed over onto the B site. Furthermore, when you get a pick like that, why the heck not? They'll at least trade things out here for Equinox. Spider's just trying to find safety. Oh, he's going to play close, find DXN, and now that elbow is wide open. All that's left for T1 is to touch their knees and toes, and they've got to do it fast because this clock is ticking. 40 seconds left on the clock, and they're still looking to fight from range. They'll take them down. From the cubby, it's all down to pancakes. If there's anyone that's gonna win a 1v3, it's gonna be the man himself, left. but he's got a track and dart stuck in his side. Rax peers over the tuna can. I go away. The four stack towards the B site. Unfortunately for Equinox, oh unfortunately oh for Mina, he's about to find out who's on the opposite side. They win the gunfight and the B site's wide open. We'll see if T1 is able to act fast. They're trying to clear out all possible angles. Neural Death's gonna help out with that left. completely. And T1 will pile onto the site. That's the red carpet that's rolled out. Surprise! I'm coming in from the side. As AZK will find one. Not before DXN will find an answer back with the Hunter's Fury. Now the action ensues. Brax is holding on. He's stunned. He's... Black City have also leveled up. It's not enough to say that T1 did not play their best, but it's more than enough to say that Complexity played to their heart. They played their heart out. For Equinox, they're looking to do the same. So far, it's working out. Cute Fat Boy is going to find Skadoodle, and that's an important member down. But look at the flank. Pay attention to the two members by the tripwire. T1 are kind of stuck here. They can't really go very far. They at least have showers control, but there's a flank coming in from behind. Spider 
completely unaware. Mina gonna find two. The slice and the dice continues to provide as it's down to Brax. He's trying to run, but you can only run so far. Equinox, stay alive and keep things within one. Unbelievable. Ooh, teleport play from Decop. Let's see if he finds anybody. They ping it out as well. Brax is gonna find Q Fat Boy. And now Decop's like, I'm going to avenge my fallen comrade, but Brax right is there. still alive. He might be able to even find another one. The Aftershock's gonna help out. He's gonna try to flank and Pancakes will be able to sandwich him in. But guess what? This one's been doing this entire time. You focus <laughs> all of your attention onto Brax. Wow, he's in the shower side. He's trying to push with his team. Nope, his team don't care. They're gonna plant the spike. They're gonna plant it towards the default spot. And they're gonna choke out the rotator that's coming from the defender spawn. So guess what? Now you've got the, the most, the, the toughest no retake word. in history. And you're up against T1. So far, it's not looking so bad. Two there on the money, down to the 3v2. One player remains, it's Mina coming in from A short. T1 have proven that they are a worthy adversary. Attacker that complexity 